Welcome to a new video from the Ancient and Medieval Adventures Camps. Hold on to your seats, everyone, because today we are going to be learning about an ancient people called the Aztecs. First, we will do a brief overview of exactly who the Aztecs were, followed by a discussion about where they lived. Then we will take a look at some of the amazing inventions that this fascinating people was known for, before finally taking a look around our world today for any signs of this ancient culture. So just who were the Aztec people? Well, when we are talking about Aztecs, we are looking at an ancient culture who traced their roots to a mythical place called Aztlan. These people came together in cities and villages based on having the same language, myths, and cultural practices. Some of those practices included building huge temples for their gods. There was much more to these people than villages and temples. They were also fearless warriors. They trained long and hard so that they could defend themselves and take control of more lands. Now, where exactly did these fine people live? The Aztecs lived in what we like to call Mesoamerica. This was a region in between North and South America that was made up of Central American countries like Mexico, Belize, and Costa Rica. To be very specific, the Aztecs flourished primarily in Central Mexico. Their exact whereabouts do change a lot through history because they would fight over lands with other cultures. As we said earlier, these people were made up of some excellent fighters. Sometimes they would win some lands, other times they would lose some, but at least they got to keep most of sunny central Mexico. Be sure to think of our Aztec friends if you ever take a vacation there. The Aztecs were polytheistic. This may not be a term you are familiar with, but really it's just a fancy word for people who worship more than one god. And oh boy, did they worship a lot of gods. They had a god or goddess for absolutely everything. There was Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god who created mankind, Huitzilopochtli, the sun god, and Tezcatlipoca, the jaguar god of the night sky. Keep in mind that there are many, many more gods, but it would take us too long to go through them all. Long ago, most cultures practiced polytheism and told stories and myths about all these different gods and goddesses to help explain and understand every aspect of life. Speaking of Aztec gods... If you love chocolate, then you'll love this quick fact. The Aztecs also loved chocolate. This tasty treat was a big part of their culture for many reasons. They used it in ceremonies or just to make a delicious drink. But above all else, they believed that chocolate was a gift from the gods. I think we can all agree that this is one gift that leaves us all happy. Now I know this will seem a little less exciting than chocolate, but a most important invention of the Aztecs that we will be looking at is their language. This culture developed their own language called Nahuatl. This was an entirely unique form of language that the Aztecs used for poetry, religious ceremonies, and everyday speech. What's really cool about the Nahuatl language is that we still use some of it for English words today. We have the Aztecs to thank for the words avocado, coyote, and of course, everyone's favorite, chocolate. And from their unique language came writing. Well, sort of. They invented a form of writing called pictographs. This is very similar to Egyptian hieroglyphs because they both used pictures of objects instead of an alphabet. It wasn't that all pictures represented words either. Some pictures were put together to make the sounds that make up a word too. On the slide, we have three examples of Aztec pictographs that are meant to be places. The top pictograph is meant to be a place called On the Hill of the Raccoon. The middle is the place of many deer, and the bottom is the place of many thorns. They don't seem like very specific names, but they got the job done. Any Aztecs who could read pictographs would definitely know what these places were. Another outstanding invention of the Aztecs was chewing gum, though it was wildly different from the gum we know today. They tapped a latex sap called chicle from the trees around them and chewed on that. 
this would not have tasted anything like the minty or flavored gum we have today, so why would they chew on it? Well, it helped them to stay full longer and kept them from getting too thirsty. This was important during times when there wasn't very much rain during the year and their crops didn't grow as well. Thanks to the Aztecs' quick thinking for survival, we can now enjoy a delicious and fun treat. The Aztecs also invented the handy-dandy sundial stone. This was a fancy carved stone that they used as an ancient calendar. There was one inner wheel to keep track of the months, and another to keep track of the days. This calendar is different from the one we know today because it kept track of 18 months instead of 12. However, we used parts of this stone to make our own version of a calendar. How cool is it to think that a stone which used the sun to keep track of days became our version of a calendar? At least we don't need to stand outside to figure out what day it is anymore. Do you think that you could use a sundial to tell time like an Aztec? Why don't you try it out? You can use the materials and instruction sheet in your box to build your very own Aztec sundial that keeps track of hours instead of days. Once you have assembled your sundial, why don't you invite a few friends over to show off your knowledge about the Aztecs and their incredible inventions? Now, if we take a look around, do we see the Aztecs today? Why, of course we do. As you've seen from our lesson today, there are aspects of the Aztecs all around us. Of course, we have them to thank for some of the words that we use today, such as our beloved chocolate, avocados, and coyotes. We also have their brilliant minds to thank for things like calendars and chewing gum. But what you may not know is that there are still relatives of the Aztec people today. Those who celebrate their Aztec heritage do it a little differently than their ancient family because they have mixed the modern and ancient cultural practices. That being said, they still celebrate traditions with festivals, parties, and prayers because they are proud of the ancient culture they came from. That is the end of our lesson for today. We hope you've enjoyed learning all about the ancient Aztecs. Thank you for watching.